Hi guys, Dr. Wendy Dearborn here from the Laws of Attraction in Action, coming to you live actually this morning from Houston, Texas. I'm actually in Pearland and I've been here for seven days. I've been on a retreat. That's what I've been doing. I've taken out a little time, a little R&R &R, and I haven't been doing anything and it has abs been absolutely wonderful. So of course, Dr. Wendy Dearborn, as I said, here from the Laws of Attraction in Action and that's the laws of attraction in action.com and the laws of attraction in action the Facebook group so as I've entitled this when is it finished is a spin-off of um, a, uh, a service that I attended last week Saturday and I attended a live Joel Olstein service which was actually really really good um, his message clear concise I like it it's not kind of in your face beating you down it, it, it was really nice I really enjoyed it and actually his sermon was entitled it is finished so this is a spin-off of that when is it finished um as you guys know and I keep looking here because I've got notes so as as you guys know this year has been about self-talk and the power and empowering self through the power of self-talk. It's so important, guys, that um, you realize that within you, within you, inside of you, there is always a dialogue going on. There's always a conversation going on. And out of that conversation, out of the, that conversation and the issues that are brought forth with those conversation comes the life that you are living. For those of you who know me, I know you're going to roll your roll your your eyes in the back of your head, but that's okay. Keep rolling. I hope you see something back there. And I'm going to say this and I keep saying this. Your life is an inside job with an external manifestation. Most people believe that their life is an external thing with an external manifestation. Nothing actually manifests in your life without you first making a choice. Absolutely nothing. Nothing can happen in your life without you first making a choice. And it's to that end that I'm asking you guys, when things are going on in your life, things that you don't want, things that need to happen, things that... that, that Hey, Bob, things that need to happen and things that do happen. When do you come to a point that you're able to move forward and say, as Joel Olstein said, it is finished. So for me, what I'm asking is, when is it finished? When is it finished for you? And we all know, we all know um, when things are finished. Now, we might not want to let go, and that's a totally different ballgame. We may truly not want to let go, but don't get that confused with something being finished. Don't get that confused. And this is where we, this is, hey, sweetheart, I love you too. This is where we run into problems. When we are being told something, we are telling ourselves something inside. And yet still inside, we are wanting something else. And invariably, it's something that we cannot have. So when is it finished for you? You know, how long do you, do you pull yourself through this, uh, along this pathway, which is a pathway that really is, mm, I, I would say in this instance, going nowhere. Because it's not going to give you what you want. So when, when, when does it finish for you? And as I said before, I'm, I'm, I'm looking here at, at notes. And none of this stuff that I'm saying to you really is new. None of it. Other than there comes a point in time where you have to take a stand. There comes a point in time where you have to say enough is enough. I have to let this go. Now, Stating that you have to let something go is different to actually letting it go. And many people will say that they, 
They, they, they want to let something go, but they don't know how. And this is one of the biggest things that I think that people deal with is, is, the, is the how. How do I let this go? Well, one thing I do know that when it is over, it's over. I do know that. And that's emotionally, physically, whether you're hanging on or not. And it's to recognize that you have come to that point, that that point has come and you know that, hey, th this, this isn't doing anything for me anymore. In actual fact, this is taking me under. And when you arrive at that point, then you are able to let go. And as I always say, guys, and I say this repeatedly in every, in every, every Facebook live, everything that I talk about, the, the radio show, everything, what I say to you, it, it, I just repeat it. When you are ready to let go, when you actually acknowledge to yourself, it is finished. When you, when you acknowledge this, understand guys that you have to fill that space with something else. You have to fill that space. You have to fill that void with something else. And I too think that this is something that people struggle with, which makes people uh, fall back into mm, old patterns or make, make them fall back into trying to hold on to something that no longer serves them because there's nothing else there to hold on to. So you have to fill that space with something else. So when it's finished, it needs to be finished in such a way that something new has been planted. Some new seed or a big old plant, something new has to be planted in your life so that you have another direction, you have another conscious intention, you have another way to go. Because if you do not do this, it will not be finished because you won't let it. The when will never, ever, ever come. Letting go, choosing to consciously let something go, is, in the, is the first step in moving forward. I'll take the back. I'm sorry. Recognizing the internal dialogue, the conscious dialogue that's come up from your subconscious. Recognizing the conscious dialogue that is telling you, that it's time, it's finished, it's time. That's the first step. Taking concise, um, inspired action on that, on that thing that's come up, on that conversation is the second step. And that taking inspired action literally is making a choice. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say to you that um, it's easy to make a choice like that. I'm not going to say that to you because it's hard. You know, you're talking about people, places and things in your life. You're talking about the people that you've loved, things that you've loved, whether it be a human or whether it be a pet, whether it be a home or a car or a painting. You're talking about things that you are love, that you've loved, things that you've had a relationship with. Things that have brought something to your life, people, places and things that have brought something to your life that has added to the content of who you are and how you show up in this world. So for you, for you guys, it's vitally important that, as I said, you find something to fill that space so that when you take that step of letting go, while it may be poignant and while, while it may still be painful, you're okay with it. You're okay because you know that you'll be able to move forward. You see, guys, whether you believe this or not, your life is moving forward. And you can either move forward consciously. You can either move forward on your own volition, i.e. through your choices, or life is going to move you. And when life moves you like that, Life is going to move you any which way it wants to. Life, the universe, the spirit, God, Christ, whomever your chosen deity is, will use you, will use you to assist other people who have set their intention with knowledge, with conscious knowledge of what it is that they have wanted or what it is that they want. People who have charted their course. 
People have charted their course. So guys, your job, as I say, week in, week out, your job is to know the what. What is it that you want? When things are over, when it is finished. And let me say this, just because you don't think that you're finished, just because you don't think that you're finished, doesn't mean that it isn't finished. You could be in a relationship with somebody and they, they said that it's finished. For them, it's finished. So where does that leave you? When will it be finished for you? You know, if, you're, if your wife or your husband or your significant other, your partner or whoever comes home and says to you, I'm done. It's finished. For me, it's finished. What do you do? What do you do if it's not finished for you? Where do you go from there? You see, when people in your life show up, and I'm going to digress here. When people in your life show up and tell you who they are, you need to believe them. When people show up in your life and they tell you who they are, you need to believe them. What you don't need to do is try to create this fantasy or build or try to mold them into something that they're not. That being said, when somebody shows up and says they're done, it's finished, guess what? If you are in a relationship with them, i.e. your energy is entangled with them, if there's entanglement with them, they've just cut those strings. And so no matter how painful for you, it is finished. It is finished. No matter how much you may want it, it is finished. So for you, it's the process of coming to terms with that so that you can fill that void and fill that space with something that is for you. You know, in regard to that relationships, etc., and people telling you that it's done, it, it, it's finished, and that's come out of the blue for you, you didn't know it was coming, etc., etc. When this happens to you, guys, as, I, as, I, as I've said before, it's really important to think about it as happening for you. Many times we have asked the universal creator known to me as God for things. Many times we have asked this. And when we ask God for things, what we don't realize is that God will move people and places. God will move heaven and earth for you to have what you ask for if you have asked in truth and honesty. And what we don't realize is that sometimes those same people that we say that we love, God has to move them out of the way so you can have what you want. Those same people who we think we love, we can no longer be of, um, of, of service to and they can no longer be of service to us. You see, guys, we're all here for a purpose. We don't, we, we're not here just because. We're here for a purpose. So when it is finished is when it's finished. This is irrespective of what you think, what you want. When it is finished, it is finished. Whatever you are doing, recognize that everything has a season. Everything has a time. There's a time to plant. There's a time to, there's a time to decide what you're going to plant. There's a time to plant it. There's a time to nurture it. There's a time for it to grow. There's a time to, for you to harvest. There's a time to reap. There's a time for everything. And when that time is done, no matter what you want to do, it is finished. That's like our lives. When, when it's time for us to make our transition, when it's finished, not one of us can say, Father, we ain't coming. Because when we're called, you have to go. You have to go. And so, guys, where I'm going with this, it, it's simply this. And I, I'm just looking at my notes here. Letting go, recognizing when it is finished, is the first step. Acknowledging that. 
acknowledging that sometimes there's going to be pain, sometimes there's going to be confusion, there's going to be anger, resentment. You, there, there may be even the, the, the feelings of wanting revenge and all of this jazz. That's okay. That's where you're at. That's okay. But recognize, as I say, those are, emo those are our emotions and our emotions are very mercurial. Today we'll be all hot under the collar about something, all ticked off about something, and tomorrow we will laugh. We'll laugh so hard we'll be crying, um, as we call it in the West India West Indies. We'll be crying, living eye water. So we'll 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 be crying. We'll be laughing hard. But the day before, you could have literally wanted to put your hands around somebody's throat and just squeeze, just squeeze and shake. But today you're laughing about it. But you see. We tend to act on our emotions. And as a result, things don't go the way that they should, which is why, guys, I'm always saying to you, don't do anything when you're in an emotional state. For many women, we realize, we know this, and I'm going to break it down this way. For women, the guys on there roll with me on this. Um, women, we know, don't go shopping. Don't go shopping if you're starving. Don't do it. You're going to buy a lot of stuff that you don't want. Don't go shopping if you know that you aren't um, uh, looking the way that you want, your, your, your body image. Because what you're going to do is wind up becoming depressed and then you're going to start doing all these. You're going to sabotage yourself. So there are things that you know that, you know, even if things are going on, there are things that you know that you really mustn't do for self because it's not in the best interest of self. So again, guys, letting go is a huge step and letting go isn't easy, but letting go is a must, especially if somebody has told you it's finished, especially if God has told you it's finished, especially if you know to yourself, whatever is going on, it's done. The name of the game, guys, is the, the, universe, the universal law of space is huge and it needs to be be filled and only you can fill that many people are, are hear them say to me you know I'm waiting on, on on God don't wait on God God's waiting on you don't don't wait on God you know the whole thing step near to God so he can step near to you or she can step near to you whomever your your deity is how your deity looks for you you have to do and this is in all spiritual text, whether it's the Quran, whether it's the Bible, whether, whether it's the Torah, whether it's, you know, um, uh, the, 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 the metaphysical text, the, the other, everything, everything says the same thing. You have to make a choice. You have to make that step. So guys, knowing when it is finished is something that will come to you. Life will show you what it is so that you can move on. You have to be able to move on. And please understand, I'm not saying um, that you have to force yourself to forget. There are things in life you'll never forget. You just won't. There are things in life that have happened to you. You can have Alzheimer's all live long day. And yet still, this is the thing that comes up and you, you'll never forget. So I'm not talking about forgetting in a roundabout way. And I'm not going to labor on this point because I speak about this quite frequently. You're talking about forgiving. You see, ladies, gents, you have to be able to forgive you and move on. Forgiveness isn't about anybody else. Forgiveness is about you. So, in the letting go process, you need to be all right with you. And once you're all right with you, once you're able to forgive you, you will know when it is finished because you'll be able to move on. Guys, don't live your life. Um, don't live your life being dragged from pillar to post or don't live your life so you wake up and you're constantly waking up talking about how did I get here? How did I get here? No, no. It's like, that's like being in a car, you know, and oh, you, being in a car and you're driving and uh, you realize you're turning onto your street 
And the last thing you knew, you were maybe about three miles away at the grocery store. And you're turning on your street and you're like, oh, wow, how did I get here? I don't even remember the traffic lights. Or, and you start trying to backtrack, thinking about, oh, my God, I hope I didn't run the light or anything. Did I stop at the stop sign? And blah, 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 blah. You were on autopilot. Don't live your life on auto, autopilot. If you do not make choices, conscious choices, in the best interest of self, understand me. God will use you for somebody who knows what it is that they want. Actually, that's written. You, 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 you can research that. That's the other thing. I'm always about do your own due diligence. Not just because it's coming out of my mouth means it's so... Do your own due diligence. Do your research. If it feels right to you, then fine. If it doesn't, don't discount what I'm saying. Do your own due diligence. Research it. Don't just switch off. Do your own due diligence. So, guys, as I said, um, this kicked off for me last week, Saturday. I went to see Joel Olstein. Oh, we have a call. I went to see Joel Olstein, which was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed his talk. I, actually, I like him. As a, as a minister, he's really clean. He's really concise to me. He doesn't kind of um, beat you over the head. And of course, he's very metaphysical. And, and I really like that. I appreciate that in, in the word in which he expresses the word. And as I said, this is a spin-off. Um, he was talking about it is finished. The, the thing that um, for me, saying it is finished, absolutely brilliant. It's what are the steps after that? What are the steps after that? And the steps after that are literally knowing what it is that you want to put into the place of something that has moved out. And this is, as I said before, guys, this is one of, one of the things that I, I feel are the biggest problem that people have is that they, they will end something. You know, if, if somebody's an alcoholic or if they're using drugs or if they're doing this or the blah, 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 if they don't have something else, to focus their intention on, chances are they're going to go back to what they know. So guys, when is it finished for you? It's when you say so. In order to move forward, in order to move forward, that's where I get stuck to. Um, most people, Barb, most people, Barb, that's, that's, my, that's my girl. Um, most people do get stuck there, Barb. And, and, it's, it, 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 and it's so easy because in truth and honesty, not going on to the psychological aspect of this, but we have not been psychological, we have not been taught this. This is, this is, these are learnt behaviours. We've been taught learnt behaviours that don't serve us. We're not taught to, to fill these voids. We're taught that, oh, everything will work out and it'll be okay. Oh, you'll be okay. And invariably, yes, you will. But as I said, what's the point of living a life and you're being dragged through it as opposed to you being in conscious awareness of what it is that you want or at least in conscious control of asking for what you want. So guys, fill, fill the void. Fill the void. Listen to yourself because self is talking to you. Listen to your intuitive self. Because your intuitive self is giving you directives that are on point. Your intuition is never wrong. It may feel that it's wrong. You may feel like it's wrong. It may feel scary. It may feel all these things. But understand that your intuition is always on point. Hey, Jen. Oh, your shows are kicking butt and taking names, girl. I'm enjoying your podcast. Um, that's um, live with Jen Mavros. You guys need to check it out. But that, that being said, guys, understand that um, moving forward, you need to listen to yourself. You have to listen to yourself. Self-talk is the most powerful thing that we got. The first voice that you ever hear in life is your own. You talking to you. And the last voice you will hear before you make your transition will be your own. We are powerful beyond measure. And I'm not going to talk about the word um, because I've been on long enough. And I know you guys got things to do today. But your words are the most powerful. Those 26 letters of the alphabet, 21 consonants and five vowels. That is what your world is made of. 
That's what the word in the beginning was. The word. In the beginning was the word. It tells you that. But anyway, that being said, guys, it's really important to know when it's finished and to acknowledge that and to be at peace with that. Find peace with that. Forgive yourself. Don't forgive anybody else. Forgive yourself for the things that you have done to you knowingly and the things that you have done to you unknowing, unknowingly. Forgive yourself and then you can forgive others. Once you have taken care of that, once you've taken care of that, what does it look like for you to fill this void? You know, your loved one said, I'm done. I don't want this marriage anymore. What does it look like for you to fill this void? What are you wanting for your life? I love you too, Barb. What, does it, what are you wanting for your life? And when you do that, know with clarity that the thing that you say that you are truly wanting is the thing that known to me as God, whomever your chosen deity is, is going to assist you. Once you've made that choice, once you've taken that step, God's going to assist you in getting the thing that you want. Now, it's not simple. It's work. The hardest work we'll ever do in life, and I'll say this and then I'm getting off of here. The hardest work we'll ever do in life is knowing exactly what we want. And people will tell me, hey, Dr. D, I don't know what I want. Tell me what you don't want. And then we'll flip the script. You'll know exactly what you do want. So when is it finished? It's finished. When it's finished. When it, hey, Rose, when, it, when is it finished? It's finished when it's finished. Choose, make a choice, fill that void, use the intention, use the power of your word so that you can move forward in the direction that you want to, that you want to move forward in. We don't forget things, but we forgive things. Forgetting and forgiving are two different things. Don't get them confused. As I said before, you never forget many things in your life, but forgive you can forgive everything. Forgiveness is a choice. Forgiveness is a choice. So on that note, guys, I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn. Have an awesome, awesome day. I fly back to Las Vegas later on this afternoon. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've been hanging out in Houston. I had a wonderful time. I look forward to talking to you again. And be sure to check out the group, The Laws of Attraction, in action. Do the forgiveness work. I did a 21-day forgiveness project. Um, I think in June, do the forgiveness work. It's powerful. Um, Barb, as always, darling, you know I love you. Um, kiss John for me. Um, Carl, who else did I see on there? Rose, Jen. Um, there was somebody at the top. Whoever was at the top, forgive me. Um, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not recalling it all but that being said guys have an awesome day i'm dr wendy dearborn you can find me at the laws of attraction in action.com and or the facebook group the laws of attraction in action facebook group until next time have an awesome day peace bye